Browser are changing the way we surf the internet and two emerging names are very prominent that are Arc and Sigma OS. But which one is the best? Let's find out in this video. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to the video, if you want to check these browsers out, then you can do so from the description below. Starting off with general UI of these browsers, I want to say that both browsers are very similar. I mean the way things are laid out, we have all these tabs in vertical format on the left hand side that we can group or pin if you like to. We can also switch workspaces quickly from the sidebar as well. On the arc we can also access library from the bottom that has media, documents, downloads etc. I feel arc is more polished as compared to sigma. It has very modern look and seems more more snappy. You can also customize the way it looks like color and texture but you cannot do that in the Sigma. Coming to the features, there are a lot of features in both of the browsers, some common and some exclusive. Let's talk about the common ones first. Both browsers are Chromium based that means easy compatibility with extensions. Second is command bar. Just like we use command bar on Mac and deploy tasks, we can do similarly in these browsers. Like we can press command K on the Sigma and command T on Arc to access it. And then do things like adjust settings and create new Google Sheet or Notion document, etc. Both browsers have shortcuts to make them a go-to browser for all the keyboard ninjas. Though Arc has more of a double key shortcuts, whereas Sigma has more single key shortcuts. This is actually a win for Arc as Sigma sometimes interfere with the website's shortcuts like on YouTube. Last but not least, both have split screen functionality if you have to refer multiple tabs at once. Now coming down to the exclusive features of each browser, we have many features in Arc. First is that it has notes, so you can quickly jot down in between of your browsing sessions. But something that I love is easel. You can think of it as a creative whiteboard where you can bring down your thoughts. You can add images, doodles and even live feed from a website, that's cool as it helps me to remain updated with any part of any website I want. And one more thing, Arc recently launched Boost's feature. With the help of this feature, we can customize any website we like and without any code. You can just go to any website like Twitter, change its fonts, color and even save that as a Boost and share with anyone. You can also download Boost from their official website as well. Talking about the Sigma, there is only one feature that I found exclusive to Sigma and quite interesting and that is Go Browsing. With this feature, we can surf internet collaboratively, something that we also saw in Stack Browser when we reviewed that on the channel. In terms of speed and performance, I found both of these browsers to be quick and snappy, had no hiccups at all, though I found the animations to be smoother in Arc. Also, it doesn't put much stress on the system. No browser is perfect, so do these. Let's talk about it. The biggest reason to choose Arc over Sigma is workspaces. On Sigma, you can only create three workspaces with free plan. Yes, plan. This browser has subscription service and this is how the plan looks like. Honestly, I don't think much people are ready to pay for a browser, so it would take them a lot of effort to sell a browser subscription. And to be honest, most of these features are available for free in the new Opera browser. On the other hand, Arc is completely free. In my opinion, Arc is a browser that I would lean towards rather than Sigma. What are your thoughts on this? Please do let me know in the comments below. Also, if you are ready to pay for a browser, then there is a better alternative. Watch this video right here. Or you want all these features for free? Then watch this video right here. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.